Hello everyone, it's Carl here from Carl Benson YouTube and what you can see in front of you here is um, my spare computer I have got a spare computer, this was my first computer originally and um, it slowly got shelved as I upgraded it and the case and stuff like that so my main computer is now on the desk and this computer that I'm going to now put together is just purely going to be built out of spare parts that I've got and um, I'd like to share with you what the spare parts are um, I just noticed something that I can see on camera that you can't see with a naked eye and this is probably just to prove the authenticity of the board and uh, you know like a UV light or something like that is can you see these marks none of these you can see with a naked eye these dashes going across they only show up on camera I, thought that's, I think that's quite interesting and uh, just thought I'd share that with you maybe you'd like to share some light on that why they're there but yeah I cannot see them with a the naked eye and that black socket actually looks green on the camera so anyway enough of that this, um, I'm going to show you what we've got here today I mean you can see the motherboard but I will tell you what this is it's the ROG, ROG Strix X470F Gaming motherboard and that in the background you can hear is a fan spinning up on my GPU yep so that's the motherboard I'm not really going to go too much into it as you can see it's an X470 it's a Ryzen motherboard it's VR ready it supports AMD Crossfire it's got Aura Sync built in and um, yeah that's um, not a lot there if you want to maybe pause the video and if you focus on any of that and you can read it and um, enjoy that a little bit later on the CPU that we're going to be plonking in this is um, let's see it's a Ryzen 5 2600 I've got everything reversed on this sorry but my camera is not right clever it's not focusing it's not behaving but that is a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU 6 core 12 thread very 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 good CPU um, I'm pretty much undecided on the RAM to use it's going to be by Corsair I have two sets of RAMs here So I've got Corsair Vengeance LED, red LEDs at 3000 megahertz with CL15 timings. These were my first set of RAM sticks that I bought from Corsair ever. No, the first DDR4 ones I bought with, with um, the red bars. It's just as these like RGB craze was coming out. But I decided to get these because they had good reviews and I had a red and black theme going. So this is what I bought so, so we've got these or got the Corsair Vengeance Pros RGB Pros also at 3000 megahertz but I think the timings on these are CL16 I think let me just have a look yeah CL16 17 17 35 or 38 my eyes are too good but yeah, these are the CMW16 GX4M2C 3000C15. Okay, so CL15 timings then also. And to go with this, because it's just two sticks of 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes all in all, same with others, two, two 8 gigabyte sticks. I also have the light enhancement kit, the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro light enhancement kit to go with them, so all four slots will be filled. The reason why I probably won't be using these ones, this set of RAM with the light enhancement kit if I don't use them, is the um, obviously the compatibility with the motherboard. I know that these ones work, the XMP profiles are recognised, but I'm not so sure on these ones. So for you know, so it's function over looks first, you know what I mean? So yeah. I might end up having to use a red LED 
even though the RGB pros would look a lot nicer. As you can see here, I've also got the AlphaCore Ice Bear 360 cooler already mounted. It was already mounted in the case, so I just left it in there dangling. It's got the bracket on the bottom. The cold plate has been cleaned off. Could do with a little extra clean, I think, but yeah. It's all been cleaned off. For the operating system here, we've got, uh, I think this is the Toshiba OCZ RD400, 256GB M.2 NVMe drive. Got some heatsink coolers on there to keep it cool. I just got to find the other two, they fell off. So I'll stick them back on. And they do work, they do work. They drop the temperature right down to, well, just above room temperature. And once you've got enough you know, fans blowing the heat away, they do work quite well without it. 55, 60 degrees. And you know, hard drives, when they're getting hot, they don't run as fast as they could. And um, I also use in this slot rather than the slot underneath there because this slot here shares a PCI, PCI Express lanes with the CPU. So it's a bit, a little bit restricted. Whereas down here, it, it doesn't share it with anything, and so full, you know, the full speed can be appreciated. And and um, yeah, so I'd recommend that you always use for your OS in this one down here rather than the one closest because normally the one closest shares the PCI Express uh, PCI Express lanes with the CPU. I've got custom cables in here pre-installed, so. Without any more chatting, let's get on with this. So, first of all, to install this CPU, very big job. You've got to be really, really careful when you do this. You get your picking nose finger, you put on this arm here, you pull it towards you slightly, lift it up so it unlocks the CPU. And then, with great care, with great care, you open the container that holds your CPU and in the correct orientation with your thumb and picking those finger place it on the socket till it drops in then we've said picking those finger push the bar down pull towards you and just let it clip in and the mammoth, and the mammoth task of installing CPU is now done that's all you have to do. Okie dokie. I think I have to go for a tea break now. Okay, moving on. I'm undecided in the thermal paste to use. I have some some free offerings here from Alpha Cool. No, they didn't send it out in a sponsor. It came with um, a block, a water block that I bought of theirs, and um, they send you out. Um, some thermal paste enough for you to do a few applications and um, I've used it a few times and I've got to tell you it works it it, it does what it says on the packet what I don't tell you on the packet is that it makes a big mess and it don't come off your clothes that easy and don't wipe off that easy also here we've got some Arctic Silver AS5 which is 99.9% .9 concentrated silver inside this and um, I'm leaning towards using this because it silver does conduct heat a lot better or one of the big guns one of the big guns in the thermal paste um, world is thermal grizzly and this is a uh, liquid metal and um, this does a lot better job than standard thermal paste you know you're going to get temperatures five to ten degrees lower depending on the cooling solution that you're using but it can do damage to certain parts you know what i mean um you cannot use it with a heat sink that that contains aluminium because liquid metal contains gallium and if you know anything about gallium it can eat through aluminium like butter and it will just just destroy it so you do not use liquid metal with anything of um, that's made of aluminium 
especially with the heat, you know, cheap CPU coolers sometimes, you know, they don't even put a copper slug on the bottom. If you've got a copper slug on it, then you're fine. But if it's just pure aluminium, then I would stay clear. Do not use liquid metal with aluminium heat sinks. Only if you've got copper, a copper bottom on the bottom, or a full copper, you know, coal plate. So today, I've just decided while talking to you, that we're going to go with Arctic Silver AS5. Oh, put a splodge there. Splodge there. I like to do dots, me. Splodge there. Splodge there. Splodge there. Mm. Mm. It probably is too much that I'm putting on, but you know, I paid for it. You were doing. So, if you think it's too much, tough. And I say that with all the love in the world. Okay. Right. I'm just thinking now because I don't really, I've only used this cooler once, but I do know that the very, very nice RGB cooler that you get with the 2700X which I have in my other computer, comes with a very, very nice, fancy little RGB cooler. And as long as I've got all the wires to it, which I do, oh, great smashing, I might just actually use this. But then I'd have to take out that AOI and that's a big job in itself. Uh, I don't know, maybe for now I will use AOI, but later on, just because it's going to get used, I would put this RGB cooler in there, in this orientation for me, because I've got the Game On sticker on there, underneath my picky nose finger, and then, yep, plonk that on there, attach it and get the full RGB functionality of it. So yeah, so there's always that. And it is a really good cooler and for the 2600 that's you know got two less cars you can actually get you know some good overclocking you can with this cooler still take it to 4.1 gigahertz under 4 volts i might add which is good i don't know if that's you know every 2600 or if i just hit a you know like a cpu lottery kind of thing because it's a really good cpu if i have to get to 4.1 gigahertz under 4 volts I think so, anyway. I was watching a YouTube video the other day. And someone was doing this tutorial on overclocking. And they recommended 4.5... No, 1.45 volts for an overclock. And 4.2 gigahertz. Or what, four, no, sorry. Four, four point, yeah, 1.45 volts for 4.1 gigahertz overclock as a daily use. I like the app. Not a CPU, but dead in a year. So, let's get this block put on. So I'll get my trusty screwdriver set out, where I put that. This is the screwdriver set that I'm using. It's, um, it's not I fix it, but just as good. It's got all the pieces that you get with them. If I just give them uh, like an endorsement there, free plug. It's like an iFixit set. KZI is a company. This was $24.99 for me. And, um, it's got all the pieces in there that you want. You put a little button, everything stands up. You got a weighted screwdriver, metal screwdriver for you. And um, that's quite good. For them hard to reach places that are around corners, you've got the um, bendy thing that I've had to use quite a few times. And um, yeah, that also works. So let's see what we screwdriver part tip I'm gonna need. Hmm. Yes, let's get this one. Maybe that one. Let's put that in there so it looks like it's meant to be there. Right. So I will get this one off there. Put that one in there. Oh yeah. 
So it's always careful to check the orientation that you're going to put your cooler as well. So we know where we are. When you put this bracket on with these screws, you've got to make sure you leave them loose enough so you can move them around a little bit. I think these are just here to ensure that they don't drop off while you're tinkering. And just do them a little bit. Maybe one day I'll start editing the videos or buy some editing software, but I don't have like six, seven hundred pounds spare. And that's a lot of money to spend on a bit of software, I think. I mean, I can appreciate why you'd need it and that if you want to do everything all fancy, smancy and stuff. If someone like me, that's, you just get what you see. That's it. Might use my electric screwdriver. So, yep, that works. That's that one on, loosely. I just put them on loosely to begin with. That's that one. I want you to know it. I don't have enough light in here. Mm -hmm. Use a trusty torch phone. I need to get myself a good light so I can build computers and some proper building space. As you can see, I'm what you can't see, but I'll fess up to this. The computer's laid on my bed. Yes, I have touched the radiator to get rid of static. <clears throat> it's not how I like to do things, but. If I wanted to record this and show you guys what I'm doing, then this is what I had to do. Oh, God. Let me. Uh, need a bit of wiggle room. There we go. Right. Oh dear. Let's do these finger tight to begin with. Mm, so it don't hurt anything. No, so don't just pull the trigger and go for it. Oops, screwdriver tip just fell off. And that's meant to be magnetic. Yeah, right. Yeah, just a little burst. So you don't over tighten it. Yeah, that's not done. All in there, nice and secure. You don't have to, you know, tighten it down, you know, so it's uber tight. Uh, I'll put on this header here. Is that right? Oh, no. I 
I better put it over there before someone tells me a new one in comments. There we go. On the CPU header, closest to the CPU. This isn't a tutorial, you know, a guide, but you know, you probably could learn something from this if you wanted to, I suppose. Uh, oh, excuse me. Can we edit that out, please? Yep. All right. She says she's going to edit that bit out, so you won't know what I'm apologising for. Sorry. Oh yeah, we don't have editing software. Well, you can enjoy that just as much as I did. Okie dokie, what next? What should we do next guys? Um, oh yeah, this is um, one of the tasks to do now. Installing memory. Hmm. Two sticks are for Two sticks that are more reliable, I'm going to use XMP. Oh, four sticks that are going to run at 2166. That going to look really ace. So, yeah. Let's go with these. They're going to look really ace. And hopefully I can get them working properly. I'll probably just a manual overclock them to 3000 megahertz, which is no biggie, I suppose. Hot time to move back. Um, go to B1, A1 to B1, or A2 to B2 with this motherboard, I believe. Nice, satisfying click. Oh, let's make sure you get the orientation right with the with DDI for the little notch that's cut out is the lowest. So I'll the closest to you. There. And there are the two working full working RAM sticks. Actually, I just realised the timings on these Corsairs are identical to the timings on the Corsair RGB Pros. I wonder, would these work together so I'd have 32 gigabytes? They probably would. Obviously they'd be mismatched, but hey, video editing. Oh yeah, I don't have editing software yet. So we'll just go with gaming setup for now. Mm, now we've got a looking fancy schmancy. It's great when you're working on your own, there's no one else about because you could talk you know, you could talk to yourself and not to look over your shoulder. You know, looking off down at if you're rounding that you're going, what's he going on about? There we go. But it's a mad world and um, sometimes you just need a bit of crazy. There we go, so I've got all four dim slots filled up there, looking um, resplendent. What next? Ooh, what next? Can anyone tell me what's missing? What's missing there? Hmm? Hmm? Something that I haven't mentioned yet. <clears throat> Let me just have a look at myself. Like I say, spare parts. Oh, do I do that? Oh, what's this one? Wrong one. <clears throat> I really would like to use this Strix 1080. Looks apart. But it's got a little issue of artifacting and um, needs um, an heat gun to go over and reflow the memory chips. 
and probably the GPU die. So we won't be using that. But we'll be using, you know, I won't say a worthy replacement, but it looks just as good. Well, it looks exactly the same. And that's this RX 480. And um, I've used this a few times and yeah, it's a very, very good card. And um, it doesn't overheat like they used to. And it's got the um, liquid metal thermal, liquid metal thermal paste, liquid metal on it, keeping it cool. It's got new thermal pads, also keeping it cool. It's got them three sexy looking fans, also keeping it cool. And it's got that RG logo there, making it look cool. So that's that. All we need now is a thumb screw that I can um, just find on my desk somewhere because it's so tidy. Mm. There's something about you know building computers that I find you know a little bit therapeutic. Do you find the computer building therapeutic? Okay, that does fit, I know it does. Let me just move all these empty boxes that way that you people cannot see that are either side of the computer. Okay, um, nothing went wrong there. Loads of things didn't fall off shelf and there wasn't a disaster. Nothing hit me on the head while I was um, leaning underneath the shelf. So, yeah, everything's okay and I think it knocked a bit of sense into me. Obviously I didn't see it coming. Yep, I'm still alive here to finish this video off. I'll just curve that round into there. Oh yes. Right, what do we need to do next? Um, I need to find another thumb screw, so there's more than one thumb screw. Um, oh, hard drives, yes, okay, right, hard drives, oops, sorry, hit the camera there, let me just pan out a little bit, hmm. yeah, magic, magic, yes, Paul, Remember Paul Daniels, everyone. So what I need now is um, two hard drive holders to hold in my hard drives. And um, these are going to be the hard drives I'm using, two 500 gigabytes, I think they are. 500 gigabyte each. Yep, just for storage, you know. And um, I may have an SSD somewhere. So I'll be banging them in. I'll just give these a little push over. Dust everywhere. Oh, look at that. There's a big hole there where fans should be. So we need to do all that. Right, that's not done. Um, CPU extension, take that out. No, well, not CPU extension, CPU extension cable for the fan. I don't need. Um, I need some fans on the front now, don't I? Hmm. What fans should I use? Have you got anything in mind, Carl? Um, well, actually, yes, I do. Hmm, let me just have a look on my shelf. Ready? The trusty shelf again. So, this is what I'm going to do. Because this has got a front panel on it, you don't really see the fans. Oh god, quit stare at that. Oh, I've got these very dusty Corsair HD120s. And um, just so happens I've got three of them. And um, so yeah, 
a bit more bling to go in or or no actually there's no or it's going to be them um or is it see because it's got a door in front it's going to be shut all time you don't really see the fans and I'm thinking of using these three fans up on the radiator so it's in a push pull configuration because there's fans on the roof side already and um, so I don't have to use them but I think just for the wow factor and the RGB pawn I mean, no, you're not all into that but it's just to keep things on the RGB theme <clears throat> Let's see. No, not them ones. Not the N60 Air 140s. They are nice, but the RGB, the RGB lights are not working correctly. Well, they just don't work. They failed. I think I might have cut the cable. But what I do have is the next best option is a thermal take ring fans the ring 140s and um, they do work and work well so yes that's what we're going to put in this nice thermal take rgb ring fans three of them well yeah two at the front the intake one at the rear for exhaust and then the three hd 120s at the top so let's crack on with that. Oh, the joys of building computers. I just love it. Wow. That fan likes to kick up in the, uh, the noise, doesn't it? You wear that fan, that's on the computer, that's the GPU. That is the new Red Devil, the Power Color 5700 XT Red Devil quiet fans. Yeah, my ass. Back in a minute. Mm. Now let's keep an eye on that. As if by magic, you can see what my graphic card is doing. Hmm. I can't understand why the fans kicked off then, but they did. So, back to building a computer. Well, what we need now is some screws. Plenty of them. Plenty of screws. Find my little screw tub. That's fan screws in it, and this is what I use for all my brackets where I keep all the screw sets for them. The mounting stuff. I keep everything tied in the one place. One line that's in there. Two. God, this is painful getting these out. Very painful for you watching that. Like, we just get them out. The screws in there that shouldn't be in there, like thumb screws. Uh, that thumb screw can go in there. That's in. That one. That one. That one. Still got a bit of fan touch to that, a bit of debris, that one. That one. My fingers are too big just to reach in there and grab them out. That one. 
I'm trying to get them where all the screw heads are the same size because there's many that are a little one, little thing like that. These ones that have a bigger head on them. And that's why I'm trying to get the bigger head ones. Yeah, that's what she said. Right, so if I don't do the usual trick well, I would like to put them out on nice and neat like this. Then knock them right off and scatter them everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, full of them tricks I am. Right, I think we're there. I think that'll be enough just for the front. Put them back in there, like so. What I'm going to do is, it now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all I need for there, and then four for the rear. Right then, so I put these in the sky rocket. I know where they are. <clears throat> Got two of these thermal tape fans. Stand up the case, move these fans out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me for making a noise. I'm trying to turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Bring you guys closer to the action. Not a lot of light in there, is there? Sorry guys, really I'm sorry about that. Mm. I don't think you need to be um oh, I don't flip to him idea. There. There we have that. So what I'll do is now feed in these fans, cables. I can't really see where oil is at. For you Americans didn't understand what I just said then, that's the hole. I couldn't see where the hole was. In UK, Leeds where I live is it's in oil. Can't find oil. Sounds like we're saying oil. Well we are. Oil. As in engine oil. Just slap it in oil. There, get that in position so when I come and screw it in, it will go in. Make sure the orientation, these are correct as well, putting the wires to the top where possible. I'll try to do it in the one bit, just want plain ball. Uh, Alright, wires to the side and then. Oh. My head's probably going to get wear now, guys. Yeah, this is where it comes in handy having an electric screwdriver. Put my screws there.
put it on the finger first. I need more light. Mm. If anyone could tell me somewhere where I can buy, you know, a good light, I want a bright white light. It's not daylight all the time in here. I can at least see what I'm doing. Right. Right, we're talking about weird places, how to reach places, well, I don't want to take my graphic card out, but I don't want to be going in a funny angle, either. This is where this bendy thing comes in handy. Will I come along and bendy? That's what she says, anyway. Can do bend it round, put it in the hole, there, and screw all. Oh God, I'll give you new windows today. Yeah? And then put another two in there. It's nice so much easier. I'm an electric screwdriver and a twisty bit like that, so you can just reach around the corner. I'm really sorry. I do apologise about the lighting, guys. I need to do something about it, but it's our winter now, so it gets dark early. I've only got a measly light bulb. I do have a strip light up here, but I don't think it's going to make life any easier. Unless... Unless... Frame with... <clears throat> there. How about that? A little bit better. A little bit. And just get me with my fingers first. Finger tight first. Oops, got a screw loose. Oh, you're having a laugh. The only hole that there could be, right there, and that screw chose to go straight down that hole. What are we going to do now? Ta-da! Oh, God. Give me strength. I mean, seriously, God, give me some strength because I'm so weak. Can you tell I'm used to being on my own, guys, and talking to myself? 
You know, I'm the person that I know that could have an argument with myself and lose it. Seriously. I lose arguments with myself. <laughs> Man, this phone school just don't want to go in, does it? What is that? Why is that? Is the graphic card not in right? Oh, there we go. Just had a bit of a slouch on there. Let's see if it goes in any better now. Yeah, we go. Yeah. There we go. Just tying them up. There we go. Don't look too bad now, eh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not taking too long. Not too much of a tedious task. I mean, how long have we been filming for? Oh, 46 minutes. Not too bad. Just taking my time. I mean, it probably would take longer than this if I had to, um, you know, start from nothing. But I don't have to start from nothing. Um, uh, now I just need to put a fan on the rear exhaust. <sighs> exhaust. I'm exhausted. Let's rotate this computer around. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it's heavy. Real heavy. It's heavy good. It's really, really heavy. Get that phone screw out there. Right, fan. And this is, um, let's see, can you see that? Oh my god. Let me move this. No. Does that look like dirt to you? Uh. That is well used. If anyone's wondering, this case, it's a big quiet um, Dark Best Pro 900 TG RGB that does it come with RGB built in RGB and um, temper glass. Yep, it comes with temper glass. Now, so far, I've managed not to break. I don't know how because I've dropped it about five times. Let's see, what am I doing now? God, I forgot what I'm doing. Um, screws, yeah, screws. Oh, look at that, screws. I should have looked in this tub to begin with. Not an easy to get out of there. Yeah, some screws, for fan screws. With big, nice flat heads on them. Right, yeah. That's what we want. If you want me to do any more videos like this where, you know, I'm building computers and that, um, then for me to do that, I need to see thumbs up. And uh, I need to see subscriptions. And people, you know, just like in the comments, place a comment, and uh, you could tell me how mad I am if you want. And at the end of the day, I think we prefer a little bit of chatter. I don't, I don't make out that I'm, you know, some kind of... Brainiac, or you know, I don't even purport to say that I know what I'm doing, but when it comes to computer building, everything is pretty much self explanatory, everything's keyed off. There's only one place things can go, really. And um, trust me, if you manage to put a graphic card in the wrong slot, then um, good for you because you know yeah there's different slots it can go in and you can put them in either one of them that it's meant to go in but if you manage to insert a graphic card into a dim slot then wow let me know how that happened 
And if it worked afterwards, whoa, that's amazing. Take this off there. No longer needed. It just makes my so much more easier. I wish this were back fan mount for exhaust would have been on a rail. You know, just a bit of slide moving up and down. It would have been a fully modular case, or it meant to be. You know, because this case you can, you know, invert it, the build, so you can have it on the left hand side of your computer. And, um, yeah. I just wish that had been on the rail system there, so you can slide things about, move it about a bit more. I mean, it is a really good case, don't get me wrong. There's a lot you can do with it that you cannot do with other cases. And, um, what have we got to do now? Um, I don't know if I'm going to insert the Corsair fans just yet. Not too sure mm, what to do. Of course, I don't have the screws ready, readily available. But what I can do is is find the hard drive base to put in there. So just bear with me.
mic on. Can you hear me now? Okay. Try not to raise my voice too much. I hope you still can hear me after all this. I mean, I record all this and just imagine no audio. It's like, <clears throat> I've done that before as well. Okie dokie, so let's rotate this round. Right, oh, there's that. There's that. It's a mess round here, isn't it? It's a mess. Put that one on there. They're not going to get used. Hey, wouldn't it be great if I could actually get the side panel on as well afterwards? Oh, just imagine. Build a computer and able to get your side panel on. Right. So, that's in there. Right. So, so all them fans are connected already. And um, what are we doing next? Well, we'll remove that down. Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's put it in top. In there like so. With my trusty screwdriver, hold it from the rear. Get it centered. I keep burping today for some reason. Weird burps. Trapped wind. I do apologize. What's that one? I'll put them up high just so they don't get in the way of the fans airflow. properly that's them done nice and tight we like them tight don't we guys hmm lots of power connectors here. Let's get these out where I'm going to take them off the power supply because I don't think they're all needed. Right. So, get rid of some of these as well. And put a loop in them to shorten them. So, put a loop in it to shorten it. Better for cable management. Oh god, the thumb screw is actually getting wear. Get on that. Yeah, and it'll go. Yeah. Nice and tidy for now. Everything plugged in and wired in properly. Cable's leg flat. I don't know what this is for. Um, more wires to get shoved out with for now. Come back to 
any later when I want to take them out. <clears throat> Quite an easy build this really. <clears throat> Right, um, I now need the controller. So this only takes fans. And this is what makes a mess, these things, because the cables just aren't long enough. Now you've got to get really creative with cable management on these. Careful where you stick them. <clears throat> this can go in there, so I've got PWM control over them fans, three fans, so they'll all change speed at the same time and that's just going to dangle there and not go anywhere. I think that's all she got, guys. And that's that there. Yeah, the um, this the pin socket has broken, and um, I can't use this one. USB 3.0 header. Can't get it in for some reason. So that's that. Um, heat sink. Cooler master heat sink to stick on there. That's all just with the thermal paste. And, um, well, I think that's just about it, guys. The only thing left to do now is. Um, plug it in and watch it blow up and then um, watch it work no more cable management to do on the back I think it's all just about done don't think there's anything missing got a couple of hard drives here, they're old ones I'm not expecting anything you know amazing out of them other than to just to do storage got a nice fast M.2 drive there for the OS decent graphic card, decent looking RAM Nice CPU, what more could you ask for for a computer built, built out of spare parts? And, um, yeah. There she is guys, there she rocks and um, I guess the only thing now to do is just to plug her in and um, find out what happens there. Eh? I'll bring you along for that ride as well I suppose.